Well, we've got Michelle Rivard with our live eye. She is down in the uh, in Etobicoke at the Eatonville Library for their Baby Time show. Take it away, Michelle. Oh. Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? Good, Good. how are you? Good. Awesome, doing very well, thank you. We're here at the Eatonville Library in uh, Etobicoke. Joining me is branch manager, Brenda Beaton. Hi, Brenda. Hello, how are you? Great, thanks, how are you? Doing very well. So what's going on here at the library? Well, the library Eatonville is one of the busiest branches in the city of Toronto. We're a neighborhood branch, but we're as busy as many district libraries. Wow. We have people coming in from opening to closing to um, get books to read, do research. We even just had a daycare drop-in, so we're very, very, very busy branch, and we do lots of programming for all ages of children. So there's tons of things going on here mm -hmm. at the library, and like you mentioned, lots of programming. Can you tell me about some of the programming? Well, today we're going to actually do the baby time, so you'll go in, and that's part of our Ready for Reading series okay. for preschool children, so Kim will talk about that, but we have all kinds of programs for school age children. We have a summer reading club coming up, Imagine, and they'll read books, collect stickers, get free posters. We have lots of activities for our teens in the neighborhood. We're almost a community hub for the teens. Awesome. And we um, partner with the Rathburn Area Youth to um, do an academic after school program for them. And this summer we're partnering with Humber College to do literacy through drama. So we're very excited about that. So you're right, very, very busy. Lots of stuff going on. And as you mentioned, Brenta, we're going to be learning all about baby time coming up a little bit later in the show. Back to you guys. Michelle, stop. Uh, we're well, going to hear more from yeah, her later. Let's check yeah. it back in with Michelle Rivard, who is down at Etobicoke, in Etobicoke at the Eatonville Library for their Baby Time show. Hey, Michelle. Thanks, Mal. So you're right. I'm here at the Eatonville Library, and joining me is children's librarian Kim Poots. Hi, Kim. How are you? Good, good thanks. Good. Thank you for having us here at Baby Time today. Can you tell me what is Baby Time? Well, Baby Time is the first program in one of our, our series of programs, like the Ready for Reading Umbrella, and we offer rhymes and stories and songs for babies uh, from this is a nice birth to 18 bedtime. months, and we go on to other age levels as well. There's a toddler time for 18 months to 3 year olds, and a pre-service story time as well. And each session runs for a six-week program where we highlight six skills that help a child become a really good reader. So, yes, because reading is obviously very, very important, and this is a great place to start when we're just super young. Exactly. Got to start a good habit young, right? So never too early to start. So that's what we do. We start with babies and, and teach as we go up. So in addition to um, the baby time, you said there's programs that go as the children grow? Yeah, absolutely. So we do the baby time, the toddler time, the preschool story time, and during at, uh, the school year, first week class visits, it goes to daycares, they come here. Um, I think it was so earlier one came in as we were talking. And during the summer, we have a great program at the summer reading club every year the kids can join. Each child can get a poster. This year it's called Imagine. So it's a free poster for everybody who comes to sign up. And with that poster comes an activity book. New this year is a younger preschool age book. The kids read throughout the summer and collect stickers. And as they do that, uh, they'll read nine books throughout the summer. So it builds the confidence and helps their skills over the, school, the, uh, the summer while they're away from school. And there's an older one for, for uh, older school age kids in English and in French. Oh, excellent. So we have quite a few French American schools in the city. And this goes citywide. In fact, it goes right across uh, Canada. So many, many libraries throughout to Canada have been doing this this summer as well. So what are the other skills that uh, the children are learning? Obviously, they're really young. They're not quite reading yet, but what are the other skills that they're developing by coming to baby time? Well, a really important skill, of course, is socializing. So that happens both for the babies and for the parents. Um, quite often after the program, parents will stay and talk. They get to meet other parents. Uh, they get in the habit of coming to the library. And just in the habit of holding a book and knowing what a book is, that's the first step into, into starting a really good lifelong That's true, absolutely. And I do have a couple of first time moms here in the class as well. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good. So, can I ask you, how did you hear about baby time? Um, we just knew it was in the library. Uh, while I was here, I saw a couple of posters from and looked up online. And we're good to go. Yeah, and who's this little guy? This guy is Arjun. Hi, Arjun. And um, how have you been enjoying your time coming to baby time? Oh, it's yeah. really good to meet other moms <laughs> and socialize and get out of the house. And it's good to get um, the story time and the songs. Yeah. And who is this little darling? This is Emma. Emma. And what's Emma's favorite song so far that she's learned so at baby time? Emma's favorite song is probably bump, like Smooth Road. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good one. 
Um, yeah. And um, as far as socialization, have you been meeting lots of moms and it's been a good experience for you as well? Yeah, it's great to come out and meet other parents and uh, parents and other parents so we can just have them together and have them aware of other kids because I'm a single child. Um, he's not used to seeing kids in the house. It's just mom who doubles up as everything. So it's nice to meet you guys and meet you too. Absolutely. That's great. Well, thank you so much, ladies. We are going to be doing a little more check-in with baby time a little bit later in the show. But for now, we'll take it back to the studio. Hey, Glenn. Hey, how are Hi, you? Hi, Glenn. We're back at baby time. I'm great. I am surrounded by babies. My maternal clock is starting to tick. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> joining me is... <laughs> Uh-oh's right. Uh, joining me is Rick and Stephanie and Leslie, some of the parents here from Baby Time. So, Rick, it's great to see a dad at Baby Time. Obviously, not just moms. How'd you hear about the program? Uh, we heard about the program, I guess, through the website, yeah, through the City of Toronto uh, Public Library website, and uh, we've been coming here, I guess, both to this spot and another location uh, for, I guess, basically since my son was born, so for six months now. So Yeah, and who is this little and guy? This guy is little Riley. Uh, Riley. He's six months old. And so, how have you? How has it been for you coming? It's it's been yeah. fantastic. Uh, we really enjoy the uh, singing songs and learning about different books. And you know, it's given us a lot of uh, opportunity to pick up books and take home and read uh, to our son uh, every night. So it's been quite fun. Okay, well, thank you so much. And Stephanie, who is this little angel in that headband? Uh, this is Rudy. Rudy. Yeah. Sweet. And um, what's been the highlight of coming to Baby Time for you? I think uh, meeting other parents and for her to socialize with other young children um, has been her favorite and um, yeah, seeing the, seeing the storybooks and the great pictures and how um, our leader brings the stories to life. Yeah. I think we might have a future broadcaster here on our hands. She's looking to get at that microphone, huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody's trying to take over my job. <laughs> and Leslie, what has been the best part about baby time for you? Um, pretty much what everybody else has said, as well as he gets a chance to hear a different voice going with the books and the songs and everything and seeing how the other kids react to it. Yeah, yeah that's, we've heard that mentioned a few times as a socialization aspect. Is that something that you've struggled with as a mom, being feeling kind of isolated? Well, with only one child at home, yeah. then absolutely. It's, it's sanity for us and it's great for the kids. And um, is literacy, reading, was that a big part of your childhood? Absolutely. Love books. <laughs> Did you grow up in Toronto as well? Uh, Mississauga. In Mississauga. Yeah. So, so, big part of coming to the library was, <laughs> is that what you're about? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, we have time maybe for a quick song. What do you guys think about Itsy Bitsy Spider? Do we like that one? Okay. So, Kim, you want to take it away? Great. Let's try this. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the side again. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. We've had a great time. Th thanks, Michelle. Yay! Itsy bitsy oh. spider went up the waters.